We are two weeks away from the season opener against Kansas City, and the Detroit Lions got some really good news. Okay, so knock on wood, any piece of wood you can possibly find anywhere. Can I reach that table? No. This chair's wood. The Lions have been really lucky so far in training camp when it comes to injuries, and the guys that have been injured, great news coming out of camp on those guys. Let's take a look at it. Amon Ross St. Brown, number one. He's been out of practice last couple of days. All signs are pointing for him to return for the opener as he was on the sideline doing doing a lot of work with the trainer, but then was able to walk through the first team offense, albeit at walkthrough speed. Another guy that we've been thinking about, Emmanuel Mosley. Remember, we get him from the San Francisco 49ers. He's going to be basically our starting corner. Um, he's a guy that we're going to count on. If you look at our defense, Mosley is going to go right here when he's healthy. I mean, maybe, maybe not. Jerry Jacobs, I, I really like. But Mosley had an ACL injury, was recovering from that. Sounds like he had a second injury or second surgery here about a month ago. But all signs are pointing that he is just right on track. And he had, here we go. The Lions will have to make a decision by Tuesday whether to make, take Mosley off the pup list and add him to the 53 man roster or keep him there. Will he'll automatically miss the first four games of the season? He probably will miss the first four games of the season. But for the first time in training camp, Mosley was out of practice in his jersey, working with a trainer, backpedal, change of direction, some sprints. He was doing similar work before his ACL recovery hit a snag and required a cleanup surgery last month. Good, fine, right? We just don't want to see like, ah, he's got to be out another year, basically. That, hey, first four games, perfect, love it, no problem. So right there, you've got Amon Ross St. Brown going to come back. Emmanuel Mosley maybe misses the first four games. Perfect. Then you look at some of the other guys. Ragnow and Taylor Decker, they were out of Wednesday's practice. So it's like, what's going on there? These are semi-regular veteran days for these guys. Frank, we know with the toe and just want to make sure we're safe with that. Taylor Decker, a veteran in this league, give him some breaks, let the body heal. No problems there. So when they go out, Panay Sewell moves to the left, Matt Nelson at right tackle, Glasgow at center, and Vitae took the first team reps at right guard. I love this because... Just make sure that Panay is getting a little feel on the left and right side because he's never coming out of the game if he's healthy. So if Frank or if uh, something happens to uh, Taylor Decker, then obviously Panay would go over there. Jefferson, um, he's out and he's not. He didn't even didn't even see him. Okay, so Jefferson and Melon Fon Wu, both guys that just are in trouble because they're not able to stay healthy. They're right on the bubble as it is, and they're just not able to stay healthy. So I, I, I don't feel good about those two. Um, they're probably out. Of, they're probably going to get cut. But when you look at it, it's like, yeah, because Will Harris is probably going to make it. CJ Gardner Johnson, if he's going to be gone, Brian Branch is going to make it. Chase Lucas might. So anyway, I was really hoping that if he would would make the team, I really like his size and his strength and coming out of you know as a young player from Syracuse that we drafted early in Brad Holmes' regime, but just doesn't look like it's going to work out. And by the way, questions we've been, we've been asking you guys questions to comment down below in in into the comments is um what are you most looking forward to um week 1 against the Chiefs? Uh is it is it the running game? Is it the defense? Is it the improved defense? For me it's the it's the defense and the secondary. I mean, can you imagine? And I'll get back to this in just a second, but can you imagine if the defense is flying around? Are you kidding me? Can you imagine if I just feel like the Detroit Lions identity, Dan Campbell, the whole thing really will come together when the defense is playing well and playing hard and we're just tough to run against. And it's just, you know, we're we're just a good defense. And part of me kind of wonders if we will be really good defensively when you think of Aiden Hutchinson taking a leap, you think of John Kaminsky, Pascal, some of these guys that Started to come on last year, Aline McNeil, Bugs, but they all take another step. Linebackers are much better. Secondary is way, way better. Let me know in the comments on that one. Okay. Other injuries. Savion Smith, too, was injured last preseason game, but he's has not been close enough to a return and rehabbing on the sidelines. Didn't see him Wednesday. And this is from Pride of, the, Pride of Detroit, by the way. Savion Smith, 
John Kaminsky. It's unclear if Kaminsky is dealing with an injury, also being given a rest day. Kaminsky has played in both preseasons game game and was active during Tuesday's scrimmage practice, but didn't see him. Not worried about John Kaminsky. And then Jameson Williams, as we know, hamstring injury. In less than a week, he'll be placed on a suspended list and forced to leave the facility for the first three weeks of the six-game suspension. Then he gets a three-week ramp-up period, and he's gone. I didn't even realize that. See, that's the stuff. It's like, dude, if we could just get this guy on the field, practice field, pl- practice game in a routine, but now he's going to go home for four weeks. It's like, dude, don't just don't get in any, any trouble because he'll be fine once he gets in the rhythm, but he just has been off. He's been injured, you know, the whole thing. So we are in great news. Okay. Amon Ra's great. Um, Mosley's going to be fine. Right there for a second, it's like Amon Ra. When Amon Ra got hurt, we were all like, it's fine, right? And and, and indications where it wasn't serious, but still, you just want to see, perfect, he's going to be back. Almost give him some veteran day rest because he is that good and a veteran. We're, let's just, cool. We're good. We've, we're not having injuries, and we're not having to deal with too many injuries. So love to see that Amon Ra is going to be back. And then Mosley, we've forgotten about him. He was a big pickup not an expensive high-end free agent type of pickup just a very important free agent that we picked up to fill a big need in the secondary now jerry jacobs is there so we're good and then brian branch ends up being way better than we all expected so that he could be our our backup corner or you know if something goes wrong with the cornerback position so i feel a lot better there but wouldn't it be nice to have mosley and then you've got and then you've got uh let me look at it here real quick. Then then you would have yeah, you'd have Mosley, any any combination of this, but Sutton and Jacobs, and then yeah, CJ Gardner Johnson, Will Harris. Like you don't want Will Harris really being your main corner if Jerry Jacobs and Mosley are hurt and Branch has got to fill in for you know what I mean? Like just don't geez, man. Will Harris. Congrats to him, by the way, for just staying in the league, not being great at anything. Not <laughs> Not good at any one thing, and usually that's like a recipe to get cut. But he's like, no, nah, I'm kind of an okay safety. I can play corner. I can play nickel a little. I can play special teams a little. And he's probably going to make the team because he can play both positions. Congrats. Congrats, Will. You're not great. Um, Chase Lucas, would love to see more of him or like to see him just be better, but we'll see. Yeah, but other than that, I mean, the... the Everything's coming together. We're almost there. A couple more weeks. Can't wait to see it. Craig and I will probably be live for the game, and uh, would love to spend it with you. So if you if you want to watch the game, put us on in the background as well. We'll be talking talking about it, play by play. Can't wait. So let me know your thoughts in the comments, and we will see all of you on the next one.